We have just arrived, I say just, a couple of hours ago in Denmark and specifically Copenhagen. I've been speaking about this trip for a while now and we're finally here. I filmed a few bits, um, I was going to say this morning but we actually didn't leave until about midday to go to the airport. We had a really nice chilled flight time, it was like half past two, it was actually delayed a little bit but it was all good, really smooth journey and then the actual flight here was like an hour and a half. Three, two, one, and... Three, two, one, and... Three, two, one, and... Three, two, one, cold. no luggage to check in we just went straight through security and then we got off and our hotel where we're staying is actually really really kindly gifted i'll insert loads of videos that i took earlier because when we first got here it was nice and bright and everything was like untouched and brand new so Brücken Gottsmägen. Brücken Gottsmägen. Brücken Sorry if we're pronouncing that wrong, but we gave it a good go. It's now like we landed because I didn't realize there was a time difference here, but it's like an hour in front. So it's now 8 p.m. and we've just freshened up, we've showered. I've actually not taken my makeup off, I've just touched it up a little bit. I've got changed. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna head out and find some dinner and do a little bit of exploring. We have two nights here, so tomorrow will be like our full on day out. I thought someone was knocking on the door then. Day out and exploring like the whole day, but um, yeah, we'll go and get some dinner tonight. Nice rope. <laughs> These are the hotel ropes. What are you doing? Trying to find some music? Let me show you the view. Can I get past, please? Yeah, we have a really cute little balcony. <laughs> anyway, this is our really cute balcony. We have little tables and chairs, and then there's some more over here. It's kind of French vibes. Um, and then, yeah, there's the pool down there. And there was people in it. I don't think, I think everyone's gone now, but very cute. Oh my God, is that the, that no. looks really, that's offices. How oh, okay. nice. I want to live here. Yeah, it looks really cosy. I reckon in the summer it's really cute and cosy, but good vibes. We got ourselves a little drink. I actually don't know what this is. You went and got it. It was raspberry gin, I think. I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. I'm wearing this bodysuit from, got a bit of coffee on, um, PLT. And then these jeans I got the other day in an ASOS haul. They're pull and bear and they're nice and oversized and that funky little cross button up vibe you know oh it get the quality gets better when you start filming fit for today 
jeans. They have um, the boy scooters here. We've just come out. According to Voy, there should be two scooters just up here. Here. Where? Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Well done. Okay, we're gonna scan these and we're gonna ride into I the. Don't think it's gonna work. It I should think work. It's gonna shut us down. Scan to ride. I need a wee. Should have gone. It's too dark to see the bar. Yeah, I was just thinking that. No, oh, flashlight on. Um. Okay, I need a wee, and we're gonna drive into. Eighty-seven percent battery. Ride into the Shoot. city. <laughs> Oh dear guys, we got on the scooters and we honestly thought we'd skipped the system. Yeah, the walking distance, like I set up my phone, got the maps up, we just put it to this random place. The maps walking distance was like half an hour. We got into the city in what, what do you think, 15 minutes? Yeah. 10 minutes and we were like yeah this is great so easy roads were really quiet we went to park them you can't park them in the city so we have to take them all the way back and we're now walking back into it but it's okay we're almost back there well it's looking at me like yeah. what the heck is that girl doing <laughs> um yeah we're walking back into the city it was so cute though when we drove past like every restaurant in there and um yeah we're gonna go and find somewhere to eat but it's getting try. late now we'll find somewhere to eat. yeah we're gonna try because everywhere's probably clock? gonna be shut soon oh god he's got a weapon oh it yeah, wasn't it was a branch such boys that is you boys and your friends don't change anywhere and I no like i wouldn't change boys picking up a branch like it's a sword um but yeah, we're gonna try and find somewhere. But a city never sleeps, right? We found this cute place oh, called Pluto. And we're oh, sat outside, it's really cute. And we're just literally on the side of a road. But um, no, it's cute, cute vibes. And the menu is quite big. They have, look, flat iron. <laughs> Buzzing here, isn't it? Good morning, Copenhagen. Oh, this is so much heavier than I thought. This is what the balcony looks like in the day. And, oh yeah, I don't know if I showed, there's a pool. I think I did. Um, but this is what the day's looking like. It's mild, it's cloudy, but not too bad so far, touch wood. We are ready. We're matching, we're both in all black today. Um, and I've just got this little cord on from PLT, I love it actually. It's new, it's nice and loud. It's nice and um, pleated, I think is the word. It's like a shirt with trousers and I've just got trainers on. We're gonna head out. We're probably gonna get the scooters and try again today and go grab some breakfast, brunch, explore for the day. Let's see your outfit. Go on. Shoes are a present from you. Yeah. Jeans from Top Man, I think. A bit of a relic these days. <laughs> this is a present from mum and dad. And it's from Zara. Zara. Yeah, nice. Lift music. <laughs> I haven't even shown the hotel on the vlog because it's been really dark. It's so funky here. It's like really mismatch. Everything's like rustic. And I'll show the front in case any of you want to stay here. It's just really like, what would you say, like hippie? There's like two um, Vespers outside and it's just really modern and fun. We managed to find a space next to this hotel which actually looks really cool. Um, it's not right in the middle but we've got to walk back. Saw a bit more of the city, now we're going to go find some food. We found like a market, indoor food market and shops. Look at the cheeses. So Mike has gone for a truffle. That's where you take them and then they, they cut you come up when they're ready. This truffle salami sandwich. Yep. Is it good? Mm -hmm. 
and we're gonna sit outside in a second but I'm waiting for mine and I ordered this blueberry acai bowl yeah and then I got this coffee got in the... yeah this place is so cute I'm actually not sure what it's called but you can like get your own little thing and then just sit wherever I don't know I guess it's almost like Spitalfields Market or Borough Market in London oh yeah you know what I mean yeah oh my god it looks so good <laughs> cheers I had a dream about that yesterday. Mm. Oh my god. Right up your street. Mm. Are you happy? Mm. Oh my god. Mm. So nice. Mm. I think you'll like it. Mm. What do you think? Mm. I would love to have this for breakfast every day. Would you? Definitely. It's like the ultimate filling, mm. hearty breakfast. It is me and you in foods. What, you in a salami and me in the acai bar? Mm. What does acai mean? It's a fruit. Mm. Or like a flavouring. You all go through the blueberry too quickly. You need to have more. <laughs> I need to spread them out. And the sun is shining. Okay, so we've been walking around for a bit. I went into a souvenir shop and I saw this hat and I had to get it because I have one from Los Angeles and New York that are basically the same font. And I don't have a green hat. So I've got this one. And the sun is boiling. And shock, we've gone for more food. I kind of have some like lunch you now. Do you like this song? You can wear it. Yeah, we've come to this place called Cox and Cows. And we're just going to get some piggy bits. Mm. We have been what have we been doing since our last vlog in, in that little um like where we got some chips and some broccoli bites they were really good actually mm. really nice we went to uh we went over a bridge yeah there were some boats yeah saw a few restaurants it was so sunny the sun's gone in a little bit now but it's still so nice the went weather to we went to co-op hold this Not spread out the yeah, because all yeah, of them did it. Like, yeah, they'd all just go out. Coop. Coop. There's a lot of Americans here. And. They're American. Yeah. You can probably hear it in the video. We got some snacks because we did this in Thailand and people loved it, especially on TikTok. Is that what you got? Yeah, you got. <laughs> Looks so weird on that packet. Um, yeah, we did it in Thailand. Hold it more. Sorry. We did it in. Thailand and we thought we'd do it in Denmark. I mean, we don't know if these are Danish snacks, but they're yeah, traditional Danish, but they've been sold they in were, Denmark. Yeah, so. they were here. So, first of all, we've got this Nicoline <laughs> can of drink, and it looks to me like an orange, like a Fanta. We're gonna have to drink this, I just realized, because I can't put it back in the bag. <laughs> It's basically just Fanta. I told you to stick with the Foxy Funi. <laughs> what? Even that just looked like lemonade. It's got less flavour than Fanta, actually. Never mind. And where I've had the salami is. It's not very nice. Next we have this Kex bar, which we tried to read the description and we couldn't. Oh, it's made in Sweden. Swedish slash. Oh yeah, shall I help you actually? Okay, this is chocolate. Most of the snacks I've got are chocolate. So yeah, we tried to read it, but I mean, I assume it's like way far. Looks like a Kit Kat. Mmm, the chocolate's really nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That chocolate's really nice. Yeah. 
Nice. It's a Kit Kat. But nice it's, chocolate it's, it's, Hmm? Nice chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice chocolate. Mm. Chi uh, a Kit Kat chocolate can be a bit clunky. Yeah. Once it starts to break down. I'm not going to eat all that because I've got loads. Then we got this the way one. the wafer like Dissolved. binds itself in between and amongst the chocolate, even after you've been biting and chewing and stuff. This one. This looks Danish. Oh, yeah, I bought this today. Oh, yeah, I said that already. Goldbar. Goldbar. <laughs> yeah, that was good. And it looks like milk chocolate caramel. Oh no, I think it's dark chocolate. Oh, I'll have to tap out. No, I'll you have, have to try out. it. I, I don't like dark chocolate either. This is what it looks like. I hate it. No. I mean, come on, that's clearly dark chocolate. But even the caramel tastes weird. Next we have. Holly! Nougat. You have to try it. I will. This is milk chocolate. It mm. looks quite satisfying. It's not one of them. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Free How camera cut off. How, when though? How long it for? Said, it said zero. Like, a couple seconds. This is like a Mars bar slash milky bar. Milky way. Milky way. Mm. With nuts in it i just had some you have some now mm, it's okay it's nice I'm, I'm just not sweet tooth if this was like a savory snack edition i'd be all over it mm. everyone will recognize oreo but i've never seen this actual bar so let's give it a go this just looks like a dairy milk bar it looks like the same one yeah. Oh wait, I'll try some of that one. Mm. It's better than the dairy milk Oreo. Free meal. What do you think? Yeah. It's like the nicer brother. And then I got these. Mm. So it's just the same thing but different flavours. Let's try one at the same time. They're like a strawberry pencil. And I like how they're individually sold, actually. In case you don't want a whole packet. They should sell salami like this. Yeah. No. <laughs> the inside's very nice. Outside's not. Very nice. Try this one. You hate it. No, do you know what? I appreciate it, but it's just not for me. It's Fair. not. It's way too like sweet. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. Artificial. Could have got some crisps or something. Artificial. Yeah, but all the crisps were like Lay's. <clears throat> what was your favourite one? Uh, does it? Well, this counts, doesn't it? Yeah. Danish snack. Lovely salami. Out of the sweet side. Uh, Mine was this one, the first one, Tex. The Oreo was decent. It's probably the what the only one I could finish if I was craving it. Mm-hmm. But um mm. fute. Anyway, we are on our way back to the hotel anyway. We thought we'd just stop off. Sit back. I mean <laughs> sit down. <laughs> sit down and take in the view and try the snacks but we're gonna walk back to the hotel freshen up and then come back up for dinner i think we're gonna head to the harbour just see what happens hi <laughs> i accidentally left my camera in the room so i'm really sorry about that let's try that again really sorry for the bad quality but i did a little lipstick change i'm wearing the same outfit put my hair down and we are on our way to the harbour which is where the little mermaid statue thingy is um and people a lot of people said we have to see that whilst we're here so that's what we're going to do now and then we're going to grab dinner there hopefully it'll be cute and pretty you changed actually diva having two outfit changes in one day we literally just got out of the taxi and he was like it's over there to the right <laughs> and there it is right there 
He wasn't lying. I don't know why. I thought it'd be like heaving over. Yeah, it's literally there. <laughs> and, that's all they've got to offer. and you literally bought a mini one of that that looks exactly the same in a souvenir oh. shop <laughs> for his friend. Why, there is. It, why is that famous? I don't get it. I don't know. I'm not sure why it's famous, but it is. And the there it is, guys. There's a bronze statue by Ed Erickson depicting a mermaid becoming a human. There it is. So should we go find some dinner? <laughs> Get a photo with it. Let me take a photo. It is Sunday morning and we are checking out of our hotel room. We're all packed up and we're gonna head into the city again. No plans for today. Again, we're just gonna have a mooch around. It's not a sunny today, but hopefully the sun will come out. I'm just wearing a neutral outfit, these neutral jeans. I think basically wearing what, wearing what I wore on the first night. I can't remember. We're gonna have to take our luggage around with us, which is kind of annoying, but it means that we can just go straight to the airport because our flight is like 11 p.m. Um, so we don't need to go to the airport till like nine. But oh my gosh, put your hand next you know to it. Put your hand next to it. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> We've come for lunch at this place. It's really cute. Cat's Cafe on this corner. And you've ordered the world's biggest burger. Can you eat it? That is the question. Do you think you can? Uh, yeah. yeah. And I've got a chicken sandwich with some chippies. And this orange juice. So nice. And a pint of coffee. <laughs> you did well <laughs> with your burger. Not You're not done? Yes, you are. <laughs> it's getting a bit cold here, isn't it? <laughs> you did really well. I haven't finished. You have finished. I Promise. I promise. <laughs> huh? I promise I'm not finished. Man v food. I did really well as well, to be fair. <laughs> oh, that wasn't nice. Is it cold? <laughs> We are just sat on a bench. The sun is setting. I don't know if you can see over there, there's like a little ray of sunlight. Um, but we're like in the centre, we've been walking around for hours and we did sit in a cute little um, cafe because it was going to rain. So we sat like underneath this outside tent thing. It was like fire heaters, blankets, it was really cute. And then I went into Sephora, didn't find anything. We had a little mooch around the department store. And now we're just sat here. We've got a couple of hours till we need to get the cab to the airport, but we're probably gonna grab some dinner um, in a minute. Not overly hungry, but I'll get hungry soon otherwise. Oh, that little girl's just smiling at me. <laughs> she looked back, she looked back like. <laughs> um, yeah, just a little update, I've not vlogged in a while. We have come to you. An Italian restaurant. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's like a grill. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. And what did you order? I got carbonara. Yeah. As usual. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I get one. He likes to try in different places. I got cheese salad, with some onion rings, and, and you got fries. Some chili flakes. With chili flakes. Taste test. Nice. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Good. 
chili oil. Look, show the chili oil. How cool is that? It's got a whole chili in it. At the airport and <laughs> looks like we've got a body on our smuggled a body in. And you wanted a little trolley even though we've got three bags between us. Duty free. <laughs> oh my camera needs to clean. Just come in duty this free. Is yeah, this is I mean I'm not carrying anything, it's great. Um should we find a little uh place to sit and then we can wander off? <gasps> Love Whitney now. Um, yeah, let's let's find a seat because we've both got no battery either, and we're both really early. I mean, of course we're both early. <laughs> we're both. I mean, we're really early for our flight. <sighs> got like two hours, three hours to kill, but we didn't want to be late, and our phones are gonna die, so we're gonna sit somewhere and um, charge our phones. <laughs> and just like that. I am now home. I've edited this vlog and obviously realized I didn't do any sort of outro. We literally got on the plane and obviously it was a late flight. We didn't land until about half past 12. By the time I got home here, it was like 1, p 1 p.m., 1 a.m. Um, and then the next morning we headed straight down to Bath. So it's been a little bit hectic, but it's been so much fun. Copenhagen was amazing. Definitely up there with one of my favorite cities and I'm really, really glad we got the chance to go. I'm trying to think what my favorite things were. Definitely that little um, like market place where we got some food, breakfast on the f uh, Saturday. That was really cute, um, indoor like market bit. The shopping area, um, was really really nice all the restaurants we went to were really good the food was amazing the portion sizes were so big as well um the little mermaid obviously we went for like the point of it being really famous and people said that we had to go whilst we were there but i wouldn't say you have to rush there to be honest if you're not interested in history and that kind of thing there's nothing there um we had to walk from that little statue into the city we could have got a cab but we just didn't plan it um so we walked back into the city and it's quite out of the way and i, I thought there'd be like restaurants around it but there's not um so that's something to bear in mind if you are gonna go um uh, scooters were really good but i did show that you can't really park them anywhere central so that was a bit of a pain but we're really glad we did those the park was really nice um there's actually loads of parks there what else i'm trying to think everything was just really nice i just loved sitting outside they've got a lot of outdoor seating which is like heated um so even if you go in the winter i think sitting outside is quite a european thing to do like having a late dinner and stuff the hotel was so nice as well actually um and i would definitely recommend it It was a great location but they do actually have um another one in the same chain which is a bit more central we went past it but the hotel was so nice all good things to say about that and um yeah all in all it was an amazing time and yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog so as i said i have just been in bath for a couple of days and i did also vlog that as well so i've got that vlog lined up for you as well and yeah thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye